Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen of Setheru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, so you guys remember um, a couple days ago, maybe even a couple weeks ago now, I told you guys that Aquarius, one of our plights is to have hidden enemies. And recently, someone sent me a message and she said, well, how do you go about life? How do you go about having friends and meeting people and, you know, doing stuff and, you know, living, knowing that you have all these secret enemies? And it's true. You know, I've experienced this in my lifetime. But, you know, you have to understand something. Number one, everybody has haters. If you leave the house, <laughs> if you have success, if you leave the house, if you do anything other than be, even if you stay in the house and you just talk online, you know, if you interact with humans in any way, you more than likely have haters. According to most successful people, the more successful you are, the more haters you're naturally going to draw. So it's kind of like just a way of life. You know, it's going to happen. It always happens. It's been happening every time period. Aquarius just have a tendency to have it happen more frequently. And our enemies had a tendency to be people who were masquerading as friends. But it's still exactly the same energy. Everybody is going to have haters. And you don't even have to do anything to have haters. I was watching a video the other day. And this woman was saying that she really dislikes her neighbor. And she was saying that she dislikes her neighbor because her neighbor is always together. She comes out the house, seven o'clock in the morning, her hair, her makeup, her clothes, everything is perfect. And she said that because of this, she can't stand her. <laughs> she was like, I hate to see her coming. I cannot stand her. And the woman has not done anything wrong. She didn't do nothing wrong. She don't even know her. They never even had a conversation. But because she's so together at 7 a.m., and this woman is still disheveled at 7 a.m., can't get it together, have a hard time getting her son to the bus stop. But because this neighbor is so together at 7 a.m., she can't stand this woman. And I'm like, you don't even know her. <laughs> you see? So if you leave the house, you're going to have haters. So as an Aquarius, I'm just aware that that's just how it is. Now, how do I go about making friends knowing that some of those haters are my, we're going to be naturally my friends? Well, first of all, I keep my circle very small. When I was a young girl, I had a huge entourage. Every time we went out to dinner, every time we went out to the club, every time we did any social event, it was five to ten of us. You know, we rolled deep. And when I decided that I wanted to live, I wanted to have a better life, I wanted to start going in a better direction. When I first got this inclination, I was in my early 20s. And I wasn't able to accomplish it until my late 20s. But this is when I first started to get the inclination. And all those people around me were either hating on what I was trying to do, telling me it was impossible, or just talking shit. <laughs> one of those many things. So I looked at them one day and said, none of these motherfuckers is really my friend. For real. Like maybe one yeah, one, <laughs> you know, and out of all them five, 10, 15 people that are always around, it's only one that's really my friend. And even he turned out to be questionable. And I dumped them. I dumped all of them. So my circle ever since I was in my early 20s has been small. I keep a lot of associates. I keep a lot of people that I know and we can have fun. I invite them to my parties. They invite me to theirs. We have a good relationship. But the inner circle, the people that know my business, the ones I talk to every day, the ones I cry to on the phone when I'm fucked up, <laughs> the ones that I go to when the chips is really down, is small. It's like three people. That's it. 
I keep my circle very small. And before I allow a person to be a part of the inner circle, I take my time and get to know them. Like I told you guys about the 90 day rule with a new lover, I put my friends through more like a it's more like a two year rule with them, you know. I kind of just, they're an associate for a long time and I just kind of fall back and I interact with them and I see if we're really compatible. So it takes a while for me to let somebody into the inner circle. And most of the time, if somebody's a hidden enemy, most of the time, they will reveal themselves before that two year mark is up. Most hidden enemies reveal themselves pretty quickly, but there are the ones who are patient and cunning who sit back. So even after a friend is a friend, my circle is not that big, so I can see what's going on. When you got a lot of friends, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. So I keep my circle small and um, I fill people out. I get to know them. But I'm not going to allow it to stop me from doing that, to stop me from going out, to stop me from socializing, to stop me from trying to make friends. You know, it, I'm just cautious. That's all. I'm just very cautious about it. And I keep people on the outside. I got a wall <laughs> and I'll be looking out there doing like, hey, <laughs> looking down at my associates like, hey, I'll be out, you know, and I just keep the wall up. And um, behind the wall is like two, three people, four at the most at any given time who are in the circle with me, who was, you know, down with me. And um, that may change. You might let somebody in the wall, then have to put them out the wall, you know? And that's another good thing about this being Aquarius, because even though we have this problem, you are given the gift of detachment. So it's going to be easier for you to remain detached until you get to know someone. So that is something that has been helpful to me because remaining detached and taking my time and getting to know people is how certain people will reveal themselves before I've allowed them to come too far in. I was very friendly with this Scorpio, but I didn't trust her. I have a problem with that. Scorpios, it's just something about their energy where certain ones... Not all of them, because I had a mentor that was a Scorpio that was really cool. But certain ones I just don't trust. So I had this friendship with this Scorpio. And because I was detached and kept my energy back, when she ultimately did some nut shit, which y'all know she did, um, it didn't affect me. I wasn't even hurt. I was more hurt <laughs> by a lot of other things, you know. I was just like... Like, kind of like I knew it was coming. <laughs> I was just like, it was only a matter of time before this happened. And I had kept her far enough back that once it happened, I was able to just shut back. <laughs> I was able to just close the moat. <laughs> I was able to close the drawbridge and go right back to what I was doing. Because she, you know, I don't even think she, she never got past the drawbridge, actually. So I just closed that drawer right back up, you know. So basically, as an Aquarius, it means that we remain a little bit detached until we really get to know someone and we keep our circle small. And I just don't, I don't recommend not even trying, not even, you know, getting to know people. I recommend definitely trying because we're not meant to be on this planet by ourselves. And yes, we do have hidden enemies, but they're not all hidden enemies. There's people out there that's good people, you know. If 30% of your hidden enemies are revealed, that means 70% of them were genuine. So you might have situations where you're stabbed in the back. You may have situations where things like that happen, and it might scare you. A lot of my Aquarius, I feel like, are scared, you know, to even try again. And I say, don't do that. Keep on trying. Keep on trying to draw to you trustworthy people. Use the law of attraction to draw trustworthy friends, because that's how I do it a lot of times. And like I said, it is hit or miss, but you'll have more hits than misses if you do it that way. So you got to be careful, Aquarius. I mean, it's no, it's, just, it's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But like I said before, even people who are not Aquarius are going to have haters. Haters are just, there has been haters 
all the way back to the times of hunters and gatherers. All of human existence, we've been hating on each other in one way or another. So it's not something that's just going to stop. It's actually gotten worse from what I'm seeing. So you're going to have haters, but you just have to learn how to be okay anyway. Another thing, watch your behavior because the less you hate and gossip on other people, the less that energy will come back to you. That's another thing. The more you engage in that kind of vibration, the more you draw that vibration to you. Okay? I hope that helps. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else that has haters and they're wondering, how do I deal with this, you know? Likewise, if you want to send me a love donation, I will drop my PayPal. If you would like to send me a gift through Amazon, I have a wish list. I will drop that under here too. If you would like to get a free um, general question answered, drop your question under here or you can email it to me. I'll leave my email. Also, email me if you want a tarot or an oracle card reading. Um, let me see what else. I have Facebook and Instagram, so I'll leave those as well. Okay, so thank you for checking me out and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.